So if the sap gets on your skin, it actually changes the genetic structure of your skin, which makes it so that UV causes severe burns. Unfortunately, a big problem is starting to crop up on trails and along the shorelines in southern Ontario, and that will be the giant hogweed. So we are very close to the trail right here. Uh, and how far away is the hogweed? Like right here. Yeah, right here. So in two more years, we'll probably be not able to access the river freely. By now, we've probably all heard of hogweed and know the danger it poses. So we can ask, is the situation getting better or worse? It's getting worse. It's growing at 200% to 500% per year. It spreads in the rivers. Right. So once it gets established in the river, the seeds float downstream. Seed propagation by water is bad news for anyone living alongside Canada's many, many river systems. But all is not lost yet. Some other rivers have already got to uh, full saturation in areas. Uh, the Grand River is still usable. Uh, still definitely enjoy the river. We just need to know what this plant looks like so that we don't accidentally wander into it. The spread of hogweed in every province except Saskatchewan means that you're going to need to be able to identify it. Luckily, it's relatively easy to spot thanks to its giant, deeply serrated leaves. So this is a leaf from a giant hogweed, and this is a leaf from burdock. This uh, is toilet yeah. paper. This is not toilet paper. If you look down here at the base of the stem, it's got a lot of purple marks on it, yeah. and it's very hairy. Now, don't do what Mark does, but I'll give you an idea of how large these hogweed plants are. And I'm standing literally right in the middle of it, and you can see how big the plant is, even in early summer. When it gets into July, you'll see the giant inflorescence, the giant flowers that are very characteristic of hogweed. Yeesh! As hogweed continues to spread throughout Canada, identifying, reporting, and removing it is critical. But unfortunately, so is learning to live with this noxious summertime intruder.